What's up everyone, I'm Matt from UA, and today we're gonna check out the Capital Mastering Compressor. This plugin is an exacting emulation of the Capital CM5511 compressor, exclusively licensed by Capital Studios and previously only available to their in-house mastering engineers. The sound of this compressor can be heard on thousands of Universal Music Group releases, including modern hits and remastered classics, and now you can add the same professional polish to your mixes. This tube-based compressor was uniquely designed for mastering applications, but it works equally well on individual tracks and buses, with exclusive plug-in-only features like a soft clip saturation circuit, mono fold, mid-side operation, and LUFS metering that turn this modern classic into a complete dynamics toolkit for mastering and beyond. Let's check it out and see what it can do. So for this first example, I have the Capital Mastering Compressor loaded up on my mix bus, and the default settings on this thing are perfect for mix bus and mastering applications. The attack and release times are set to their slowest and fastest speeds respectively, and the sidechain filter is enabled to make the compressor less reactive to low frequencies that can cause unwanted compression. Now to start, I'm just gonna raise the threshold knob until I'm getting anywhere from one to three dB of gain reduction, then I'll use the output knob to add some makeup gain. Let's hear what it sounds like. A desert that he cannot cross To keep the soul in wonder The belly must have hunger He needs the vultures And every man needs an Everest A mountain that he cannot climb Keep the head humble, the hands from trouble, you can't be comfortable. So just with those couple of moves, this compressor is already breathing some life into this mix and bringing everything right up to the front of the speakers. Now one of my favorite parts of this compressor is its ability to add just the right amount of pleasing saturation to the signal. And it can do this in two ways. The first way is with this output knob. If I turn this up, you'll see the clip lights start to come on and that means we're clipping the output amplifiers, which is gonna add some nice harmonic saturation and increase the perceived loudness of our track. Now I'm gonna go ahead and turn up this output knob and then I'll compensate for that by turning down the gain knob in the bottom row which just sets the final output coming out of the plugin. Let's hear what that sounds like. Every man needs a nemesis A desert that he cannot cross To keep the soul in wonder The belly must have hunger He needs the vultures And every man needs an Everest mountain that he cannot climb To keep the head humble The hands from trouble You can't be comfortable So as you saw, I pretty much just raised that output knob until I started seeing the clip LEDs come on with just the loudest transients, which added some nice subtle warmth to the mix. Now the second place that we can add some saturation and harmonics is this dedicated soft clip saturator circuit, which is a plug-in only feature that was added to replicate common mastering workflows. This circuit is really good for increasing perceived loudness without killing the dynamics of your mix. It also has a little bit more control with this shape knob that controls both the shape and the amount of saturation together. Let's hear what it sounds like. Every man needs a nemesis A desert that he cannot cross To keep the soul in wonder The belly must have hunger He needs the vultures and Every man needs an Everest A mountain that he cannot climb Keep the head humble, the hands from trouble, you can't be comfortable. Now the last control I reach for pretty much every time I use this plugin is this mono fold knob. This sums the low frequencies to mono to ensure that we have a tight bass image and no phase issues. On a track like this with more traditional instruments, I'd probably start around 100 hertz. If you're working on a hip hop or EDM track where you might wanna maintain some width in your low end, I might start a little bit lower. And while I'm down here, I'm also gonna flip the metering into LUFS, 
which shows me both short-term and integrated loudness so I don't have to load another plugin afterwards. I currently have Capital Mastering Compressor set to stereo mode and this mix is sounding great, but let's go ahead and flip into mid-side mode and see if we can add some extra width. Now, whenever you use mid-side mode in this plugin, it's super important that you unlink both the side chain and the controls. Now the top row is gonna be controlling the middle channel and the bottom row is gonna be controlling the side channel. Now I can set different settings for each row and affect each channel differently, which is what I'm gonna do right now. Let's take a listen. And every man needs an Everest A mountain that he cannot climb To keep the head humble The hands from trouble You can't be comfortable So what I did here was raise the input and threshold knobs on the side channels to get a tiny bit more compression. Then I lowered the attack speed on the mid channels to grab onto the signal a little bit more. And finally, I raised the output gain on the side channel to bring up the sides and increase the stereo width. You can really hear it on those background vocals that come in in the chorus. Now don't let the name fool you. Even though this is called a mastering compressor, it works equally well on individual tracks and buses. And one of my favorite ways to use it is as a drum bus compressor. This compressor's design makes it perfect for this with unique circuitry that lets the compression circuit give way to a fixed limiter at higher signal levels for precise control over our transients. Now, personally, I love pushing compressors to their limits on drums. So let's go ahead and crank up the input gain to five and see how the compressor reacts. I'm also gonna adjust a few other key settings, but we'll talk about those after we hear this example. So I started by raising the threshold knob, and then I also raised the input gain to drive in the compressor as hard as possible. But I wasn't getting the amount of gain reduction that I wanted, so then I reached for this headroom knob, which changes the internal operating level of the plugin. Now in this case, I turned the headroom knob to the right, which made the compressor more reactive and let me get a little more gain reduction out of it. And finally, I just shortened the attack time to tighten up the transients a little bit. I love the five different attack and release times that are available on this thing. They're already placed at really useful and musical spots that make it super easy to dial in. One other setting that's really useful for drums is the sidechain filter. There's three different positions that let you filter out different amounts of low end to make the compressor less reactive to instruments like kick drum and bass. Listen to how the tone of the kick drum changes as I cycle through these different options. Now we've dirtied up the drums a little bit and they're hitting pretty hard, but let's go ahead and turn on the magic saturator circuit to see where that gets us. I'm also gonna play around with the mix knob, which lets me blend some of the dry, uncompressed signal back in. And this is particularly useful if you're losing a little bit too much of the transients due to compression. Now note that the mix knob happens before the saturator, so it only controls the blend of compressed and uncompressed signal and not the amount of saturation.
So now we've covered all the main settings, but just for fun, let's see how this plugin does as a good old fashioned vocal compressor. I'm gonna start with the default settings again, then I'll raise the threshold knob until I'm getting the amount of gain reduction that I want, and then I'll bring in the output knob and the saturator circuit to get some bite and dial in the tone. Let's take a listen. Every man needs an element, a fear that he may lose control, uh, to keep the heart sacred, escape the mazes, he must be vulnerable. Mm -hmm. Happiness has left her footprints in the sand Suffering, you serve a purpose that I'm yet to understand That's the curse of every man Even though I say I want the best, what I get is so much less. Cause my utmost ain't enough to call humanity. And every time I reach the top, my motivation now would stop. And I go right back to the source of my insanity. Happiness is such a footprint in the sand. So as we've heard, whether you use it subtly or push it to the extreme, this compressor can breathe new life into buses, mixes, and individual tracks. And considering there was only four of the original hardware units ever made, personally I just think it's awesome that now everyone can get this modern classic of a compressor right in their DAW to be used on all kinds of new music. Capital Mastering Compressor can be purchased individually today or on subscription as part of U80 Spark, along with a whole suite of other legendary mixing and mastering tools. Try it out today at spark.uaudio.com. You can check out our product manuals at help.uaudio.com, and don't forget to subscribe to the Universal Audio YouTube channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.